So, uh, this is, is this uh, part of this the duties? Oh, uh, yeah. Number one, Always call, volunteering. Number one, junior <laughs> women job. single. Junior women single. Is that number <laughs> did, you, did you take a course? So did you take an auto mechanics course? No. So, so you're not used to working with an adjustable? <laughs> no, I hate these adjustables. Does anybody have a a regular wrench? Seven sixteen. Yes. Where are you? Are you guys using metric wrenches or? No, yeah. no. We're from the United States. We're from the US, they don't use metric there. Okay. So it's a 7 is yes. that right? Okay, so well, that would be about a 12, I think. Uh, what about the weather? Uh, it's... It's beautiful. Oh, wait, no, Today? no, no, no. I'm It's not to that windy. That. I'm going to have to contradict the fact that I'm not going to be liking rowing if there's a huge crosswind in my single. Okay. Besides the waking of the launches, the water's really nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, um, here's good a, luck. Here's more. Thank you. One more, gals. Cool. Do you wear those glasses when you're out there? Indeed. So, do you have any cream to go with the, those strawberries? <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how are they? Where did you uh, Where did you acquire them from? From my fridge. Oh wow! Yeah, they, yeah. They look they're really... they're actually not very good. They're kind of white on the inside. Oh so yeah. Yeah. It's and unfortunate. It, does this help the rowing regime? Is it good to have this? Uh... For me, yes. This is food that I like to eat. I like to um, certain specific foods I like to eat. So certain fruits, certain things in the morning, not. Anything that's going to give me heartburn. So this is quite serious in rowing. It is. It's 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 very serious and it's very important. So. Do you, do you make lots of friends doing this, like uh, with rowing and? You do, yeah. The longer you stay, you start to get to know people from the different the different areas. So it's it's actually quite nice. And of course, there's the team bonding. Hey. Thank yeah. You. You're welcome. My name is Jill Cooper. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And our trip up here was a very pleasant trip. It's always beautiful to drive along the North Shore. Coming to the Thunder Bay Rowing Club is always, um, it's usually really nice weather and um, I love their rowing club because it's really nice to see the, the balcony and you can stand up there and watch the races and um, it's been tradition for me. I've been coming since the early 80s here for their regatta. They used to be known for their great parties after this regatta and now the regatta has taken on a new turn and actually they're known for a very good regatta now which is it's great it's great to come up here and race our competition we don't have any competition no <laughs> no um, our competition is always tough um, Thunder Bay puts out really hard boats and then all the boats coming from the states are always tough St. Paul and Minneapolis have a rivalry that goes back forever and um, they always give us a good battle. I mean, there aren't any easy races here. It'd be nice if Winnipeg showed up. That'd be good. My feelings about Canada when I come to visit it, I love um, crossing over the border and the mountain range here is really nice, the, the rock formations. That's what I love about coming to Thunder Bay is it's just gorgeous driving in. And well, we pick up a little of the accent. We go home saying A and about and regatta <laughs> so it's really hard not to um we come for tim hortons gotta come for the donuts <laughs> it's the first place that we hit uh, even as athletes um it has just a real small town feel you know you're really welcome people smile 
They say hi. We took a walk last night and everyone was out and talking to us, asking where we were from. So it's, it's really nice. It's like a small town, really comfortable. Mm. What's magical to me about rowing, and especially for youth, is, is it takes teamwork. You can't be an individual in a boat. You have to work with others, and that's really important. And I think it teaches them to work with others. It teaches them that to respect um, equipment. Equipment's expensive, and if you don't respect it, it breaks. And um, but mostly, it's the teamwork and the camaraderie. I mean, it brings you down. Um, if someone doesn't come, your boat doesn't get to row. So it teaches you the responsibility and being responsible once you make a commitment to something. Um, being at the regatta, it's the whole team camaraderie, um, male and female, which I think is really important. I coach the high school kids at Minneapolis and watching them work together where they barely even spoke when they first came down and now they work together. It's um, just Go exciting figure, to watch. I think it keeps them out of trouble. Eh? We get up early yep. or we work out really hard. They have anything going on in their lives that isn't good, Jesus. it'll come out. And we correct it. So it's great. Will you be back? Oh, will I be back? Most definitely. I come back to Thunder Bay all the time. I love coming up to Canada to race. It's, um, this country puts so much priority on their rowing. It's just, it, and you can see it when you, when you come in. And like when you drive across the border, you say you're going to a regatta. They don't ask you what a regatta is. They know what rowing is in this country. And so it's just a blast to come up here. Which ones? Thank you. 